Welcome to Elkhorn Hills Graduation Sunday. Each year, I have the honor of recognizing the senior class. It is always special to me to be a part of this journey with them and to honor them as they move into the next phase of their lives. I look at this group of seniors and I see strength, determination, leadership, and perseverance. I'm not going to dwell on the past few months and what you've had to endure because I know it's been difficult and trying for each and every one of you. It's been a hard road to walk down and not the way any of you wanted to leave your high school careers. I saw this quote and thought of all of you. It's not what you go through that defines you. You can't help that. It's what you do after you've gone through it that really tests who you are. Stop and think about all you have accomplished in your four years of high school the championships you may have been a part of, the friendships you have made, the teams you've competed with, the groups that you were involved with, and the life lessons you've been taught by your teachers. Think about all of the good memories. Your character and your values are what defines who you are. I know each of you have amazing gifts and talents that God has given to you. And I'm excited to see where he takes you on this next path in your life. Each year, the seniors write a note about their faith journey and how the church has helped them grow in their faith and helped guide them. Ellie Beeson. I would like to thank Elkhorn Hills for being such a family to me. It never failed to make me feel like people wanted me there. The sanctuary was always full of smiling faces, making me feel welcomed. I learned a lot about God and faith at church. My favorite thing about church was the mission trips we went on. I had so much fun helping people and growing closer to God and love all of the memories I made. Jenny has been a big part of my faith journey and has always been so loving and has pushed me out of my comfort zone to serve others and grow in my faith. Thanks again, Elkhorn Hills, for watching me grow up and helping me with everything along the way. I will cherish my times as a youth here forever. From your parents, Dear Ellie, we are so excited for you and know your potential is limitless. We are so proud of how hard you have worked and love you very much. Love, Mom and Dad. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Ellie will be attending Creighton University and wants to be a dentist like her dad. She has signed up with Creighton to play the game that she loves to play, softball. We wish you all the best, Ellie. Meg Carney. Never have I encountered a greater community than that which I have found at Elkhorn Hills. Constantly having a group of individuals who I know love and care for me indefinitely and support me during every step of my faith journey has helped me to grow and flourish in ways that I never thought possible. Being surrounded with other people who are just like me, imperfect, but wanting to grow in God has been such a gift. Without my church family, I would not be at the place that I am today in my relationship with Jesus. They have helped me to see him in all that I do and all that surrounds me, and I cannot be more grateful. From your parents, Focus on your progress and not perfection. There's no such thing. If you try to be perfect, it's easy to get disappointed. If you focus on your progress, you'll realize that getting better is its own reward. Love, Mom and Dad. Meg will be attending the University of Nebraska at Lincoln, majoring in Communication Studies and Journalism and minoring in Spanish. We wish you all the best, Meg. Bella Chrisman. Before I was signed up for a confirmation class at Elkhorn Hills, I really didn't have a solid foundation in my faith. I had gone to camp at Camp Fontenelle. I had attended services at my old church, but I never really knew anything more than God is real and he loves me. When my old friend Bella asked me to be confirmed at Elkhorn Hills with her, I was apprehensive at first, but I soon became so overjoyed to be involved with such an amazing community of friends and teachers. I attended youth group and went on mission trips, and before I knew it, I'm graduating. I am so thankful to have met forever friends, inspiring mentors, and to have a lifelong, strong faith in the Lord. 
Bella, your mom wanted me to share this with you. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. John Wesley. From your dad. Where does the time go? Our first daughter, so full of love and happiness. I remember your infectious baby laugh and giggle like it was yesterday. When I close my eyes, I can still hear it. Bella, I'm so proud of you and who you've become. I'm excited for your future. I know you'll be successful in whatever path you decide to take. My only advice is don't ever be afraid to call. I'll always be here for you for the rest of your life and the remainder of mine. The soapbox is always in my pocket. I'm blessed and lucky to be able to call you my daughter. All, my, all the love in my heart, Dad. Bella will be attending the University of Nebraska at Omaha. She will be going into pre-health to pursue a career in nursing. We wish you all the best, Bella. Tyler Grabber. The church has made me realize many things over the years. One of those things being that no matter where I am in my life, God is always there for me whenever I need him. At this point in my life, God is at work, making sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, keeping me healthy and happy. I'm thankful for Pastor Daniel, Randy, my family, and Jenny for being there with me throughout the most tremendous time of my life and I hope to connect with God more and more as I go to church more often. Tyler, your grandparents and your mom wanted me to share these messages with you. Be the person you want to meet. Love, Grandma and Grandpa. Dearest Ty, from the day you were born, I promised you that I would always be by your side to watch you grow up into a young man. It seemed like forever before that would happen, but it happened in a blink. I can't believe my baby is grown and graduated from high school already. Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Your world will become what you make it to be. Go far. I am proud of you and love you to the moon and back, Tyler. Love always, Mom. Tyler is going to Metropolitan Community College for radio broadcasting. After graduating from Metro, he plans to go on to a four-year university such as UNO or UNL. He is planning on becoming a radio show host. We wish you all the best, Tyler. Arby Hodges. Christians have to believe in God, admit that we aren't perfect, recognize that we can't do everything on our own, invite God into your life, and commit to following God's will. Over the years, the church has taught me to put my faith and trust into him because ultimately, he has a plan for me. Arby, words of wisdom from your parents. Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. Love, Mom and Dad. Arby will be attending the University of Nebraska at Lincoln and studying biological systems engineering. We wish you all the best, Arby. Ethan Murphy. The church has enabled me to travel outside of my comfort zone to serve God by helping others. God is at work in our lives each and every day, even if we're going through times of hardship or adversity. I've learned that everything happens for a reason. God has a plan. The church has helped me have faith, not only in the times of worship, but also in my day-to-day -day life, at school, at home, and at work. As I have devoted myself to helping others, I also saw God at work through the individuals who I have come into contact with. I saw something special in each individual, a story they had to tell. Being able to serve always brings out faith in me, no matter what else is going on in my life. Ethan, your mom wanted me to share this with you. Ethan, your whole world is waiting for you. I am so proud of all of your accomplishments, your integrity and perseverance. You're amazing. I will always have your best interests at heart. I love you to the moon and back, mom. Ethan will be attending Northwest Missouri State and majoring in accounting. 
Following graduation, or when the pandemic ends, no doubt Ethan will spend his summer working. We wish you all the best, Ethan. Jenna Paul. While I have been active in church since I was little, I wasn't active in my faith journey until seventh grade. In seventh grade, I was heavily encouraged by my mother to take confirmation. It was in my confirmation class that I not only learned more about the history in the Bible, but also about the history of the Methodist Church. This opened my eyes to Methodism itself rather than Christianity as a whole and allowed for me to really enjoy the aspects of our church that make it different. Due to confirmation, I also started to pay more attention in Sunday school and became more active learner in my faith. While this was a fantastic start to my faith journey, I wanted to have an even stronger relationship with God. In 10th grade, I started to regularly attend youth group. This is where my relationship with God progressed rapidly and improved immensely. I found myself looking forward to Wednesday nights so I could see my friends from church and learn more about my faith. Youth group gave me the confidence to go on mission trips and to actively pursue my relationship with God in my everyday life. Without Elkhorn Hills, and more importantly, those involved with the youth program, I would not be who I am today. Jenna, your parents wanted me to share this with you. Behind you, all your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who love you. Within you, all you need. Jenna, we are so proud of you, of your kindness, generosity, resilience, and all the hard work you have done. And we are so excited for your future. Love, Mom and Dad. Jenna will be attending the University of Nebraska at Lincoln and studying and majoring in meteorology. We wish you all the best, Jenna. Sarah Riddell. The church has helped me grow into the person I am today. I will never forget the people I've met and the memories I've made at Elkhorn Hills. By God's grace, I am thankful. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Sarah, your parents wanted me to share this quote from Theodore Roosevelt with you. In any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing is the wrong thing. And the worst thing you can do is nothing. Sarah, we are so very proud of you and excited for your future accomplishments. Love Dad, Mom, and Scott. Sarah will be attending the University of Nebraska at Lincoln and majoring in biochemistry. We wish you all the best, Sarah. Nathaniel Robinson. Elkhorn Hills has been such an amazing place for me to grow in my faith. This church has not only given me the opportunity to learn about my faith, but experience it in a variety of ways. From mission trips to fundraisers, I've been able to get involved and grow in my faith while being around my church family. The church and the members of it have shown me that I am loved and that we are all God's children, no matter who we are, where we live, or what we look like. I would not be the person I am today without Elkhorn Hills. Thank you for being a part of my faith journey and helping me grow spiritually. Nathaniel, your parents wanted me to share this with you. There is nothing we can say to you that we haven't said a hundred times before, so we won't even try. Just know that we love you more than words could possibly express and want the absolute best for you. We know that the last part of this year has not been all that you expected, but hope that when you look back on it, you will remember the triumph over adversity and not just the experiences you missed. We know that you can do anything that you really want to if you work hard and set your mind to it. You are the most amazing son we could have ever imagined, and we thank God for you every single day. Love, Mom and Dad. Nathaniel will be attending the University of Nebraska at Lincoln and majoring in mechanical engineering. We wish you all the best, Nathaniel. Patrick Swan. I have come to learn that God is always there when I need him. Patrick, from your mom and dad, 
Patrick, watching you grow up and becoming the person you are has been a joy for your dad and me. Trusting your faith as you go on. Love, Mom and Dad. Patrick will be going on to the Young Adult Program after graduation. We wish you all the best, Patrick. Alan Walla. Alan, where do I begin? What a joy it has been to watch you grow in your faith. When you started in Sunday school, you wanted to be silly and you weren't too sure about sharing with the rest of the class. But then I got to see a change as you entered confirmation class. You began questioning, seeking answers along your faith journey, and growing by leaps and bounds. You were always one of the first in the youth room on Sunday mornings and Wednesday nights. I have had the privilege of serving alongside of you on mission trips and seeing the compassion you have for others. You have a big heart, Alan. You are kind and considerate towards everyone around you. You also have a funny side where I know we can laugh and tease together and then dig in and share in meaningful discussions about things that you're going through in your life. For the opportunity to have been able to walk alongside of you on this part of your faith journey, I am blessed. Alan, never stop asking those tough questions about your faith. Never stop laughing and never stop being that amazing young man that God made you to be. I'm very proud of you. I wish you all the best in the next phase of your life and I'm excited to see where God leads you next. From your mom, life is a book, make it a great story. Alan will be joining the workforce after graduation. We wish you all the best, Alan. Now, as some of you know, we have a special senior who was with us for a year as she studied in the United States from Spain and stayed with Bill and Deb Item. I asked Paula Lopez Alvarez to share with me how Elkhorn Hills touched her life during this brief time. I believe it shows that our congregation is loving, caring, and welcoming. Elkhorn Hills was a turning point in my faith and religion, especially concerning God. This congregation has given me many things from teaching me to find myself. Now I truly believe that I want a future where God is present. Before coming to Elkhorn, I sincerely did not consider myself a religious person or a practicing Christian. But thanks to this experience, I have been able to know God in a much closer and more real way. I simply have to say thank you. After graduating, I would love to dedicate myself to the world of advertising and public relations since I consider myself to be quite a creative person with great interpersonal skills. I'm looking forward to going to college and to experience that independence again and face any adversity on my own without the protection of my parents. I hope it is one of the best times in my life and I can learn a lot. Paula made some lifelong friends at Elkhorn Hills and we're thankful that Bill and Deb brought her into our lives. This year, I asked your confirmation mentors to share a message with all of you. So here we are, 2020 amid a pandemic, which is unfortunately probably once in a lifetime event. I know it's hard for all of us, but I also know it's hard for the class of 2020. You don't get to celebrate some of the things that you deserve to celebrate, some of the accomplishments that you have done. And I understand that, and we all actually understand that. And, and our hearts go out to you. My name is John Holtz, and I once was a confirmation sponsor a long time ago for this class um, but I have been able to watch you all grow as individuals you have become men and women of the church I've been able to witness things that you've done for yourselves for our church and even the community around us Elkhorn United Methodist Church has given you all lessons through and through and you have gained knowledge and the love of God through your time at that same church. I know you will all do great things. There's no doubt about that. And I actually look forward to watching you move on to the next chapters of your life. I like, I can't wait to hear what you've done. I can't wait to see what you've done. Um, it'll be really amazing. I want you to remember though that your church family is always here for you. We're here to help. We're here to cheer you on. We're here to guide. Uh, all you have to do is reach out and ask, though, because we know that we're, 
working together to help you in your life as well. I am just so proud and blessed to be a very small part of your church life at Elkhorn United Methodist Church. As a confirmation sponsor, it's been my pleasure to do that. Um, but I'd actually like to leave you with this. I'd like to leave you with my favorite scripture. You can do everything and anything you want through God's love. Please always be yourself. Please always believe in yourself because we, your church community, believe in you. Good luck and Godspeed to the class of 2020. Congratulations, seniors, on your graduation. You have got here by hard work dedication, and commitment. I wish you all good luck as you go on the next adventure. Dream big and follow your heart. Connie Rance. Dear Patrick and senior class, it was such a pleasure to be involved with your confirmation process and seeing your spiritual growth through these past years. May Jesus walk with you each day as you continue along your life's amazing journey. God bless, Jim Martin. I am able to do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. But they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. I want to congratulate all of you on your accomplishments. Each and every one of you have succeeded and have gifts and skills that are unique to you that God has a purpose and a plan to use. You are all beginning a new leg in your journey. I included the two scripture passages that I found inspirational and calming when I began my journey after high school years ago. Both of these scriptures were given to me in graduation cards by two women in my church that were my cheerleaders and supporters. While these are unsettling times and much disruption has come to your celebration, do not let that dim that your light or dampen your sense of accomplishment. I'm so very proud of you all and cannot wait to see how you improve and change our world. God bless, Patty Langen. As I watched A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, there were several messages that stood out to me that I could share with all of you, but this is the one that I chose. One person truly can change the world and inspire millions through kindness. Be kind. And whatever you do, to whomever you come across in your life, be kind. Fred Rogers always saw the best in people. He saw what they could be, not just what they were. That's exactly how I see each and every one of you. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, it says, for I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. 
You all have so much potential to go out and be something great in this world. I pray that each of you sees your full potential and lives life to the fullest. You have been an amazing class to be a part of, and I'm thankful for each of you. Please join me in congratulating our 2020 seniors.